Hey everybody, I'm excited to be here. Uh, how's everyone doing? What a crazy almost 24 hours we've had. Um, wow. Anyways, uh, I'm excited to be here tonight playing some music for you guys. So I wanted to say, obviously, good evening and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here for the Listening Room Music Series. And if you don't know, I'm Jamie Harris. And tonight, instead of playing for you at the main stage theater on the campus of New England College in New Hampshire, I'm here in my den in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, this is my home. I have been broadcasting here since the pandemic, so this is the spot. You get to see all my records and my books and my posters like a teenage boy of Guy Clark and uh, Jimmy LaFave and James McMurtry. This is kind of like my weird space. But anyways, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Um, I wanted to let you guys know if you're coming to the stream from my page and you're not familiar that the Listening Room series features musical artists from around the New England area, as well as national and international touring songwriters. And during the pandemic, NEC will be offering Saturday evening streams just like this. And if you would like to be notified by email of upcoming performances, um, their lineup is great. You should totally recommend getting on their email list. Um, you can email Jeff Weber, who is the director of the Listening Room Music Series, at jweber at nec.edu. Um, I will be sure to put that in the comments for you. I'm actually, I'm just going to do that right now. So thanks for your patience. Uh, so to get on the list, email Jeff Weber so you can find out uh, what's going on and with the concert series. Anyways, I'm excited to be here. I have some new songs to share with you guys and uh, we've got an hour to spend together, so I'm happy to take requests. Um, pop them in the comments if you'd like. I'm really excited that Jeff Weber has invited me back to the series. Uh, I went on tour with Graham Weber. You might have realized there's a connection there, the Jeff Weber, Graham Weber connection. Um, but we were on the road. We played, played a lot of gigs in the New York area. Went to Coney Island for the first time for me, which was really fun. And um, normally this gig comes with lobster rolls. So I'm pretty bummed out that there's no lobster rolls here. Um, I think we're having meatloaf instead, which will be great, but it's just not the same, but I'm glad to be playing. <laughs> Anyways, lobster rolls or not. So uh, here's a song that pairs pretty well with isolation.
All right, thank you guys so much. Man, it feels good to good to be playing songs today. I'll play this one for you. I haven't played this in a while. I played this a lot at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I, uh, it seemed so weird. It was uh, so many disasters ago. Oh, hi, Lisa Barbie. Hi, Glenn. Hey, Rob. The Andersons, Ann and Rich, Jude, hi. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, so check this out. This is like in March 20, 2016, oh my gosh, no. In March of this year, which does kind of feel like four years. Um, earlier this year, Mary and I were part of this benefit for the Australian fires that were going on and there were all these uh, incredible artist from Australia and also a puppet named Randy Feltface who I fell in love with. I was like, wow, I love this puppet. Turns out this puppet has like millions of followers. He's a very famous Australian puppet. I didn't know. Uh, Robert Plant also was there. It was crazy. Um, but uh, we were raising funds to help rebuild um, for the Australian fires. And um, one of the things that they offered there as a silent auction item was to record with Aaron Lee Tashton at Magnetic Sound Studios here in Nashville and uh, Mary bid on it for me for my birthday and so I got to go in and record this song with Aaron Lee Tashton which was super fun and it was crazy because the studio, Magnetic Sound Studio, Lily Hyatt has made some records there. Um, it's a really wonderful little East Nashville spot very close to Tacos which is important. Um, anyways, they uh, we, we went in and we had this date to go in and record this song, and it ended up being the morning after the Nashville tornado. And all three of us were really glad to have something to do that, uh, to kind of pour our hearts into after that horrific event. And so then we played, the la one of the last gigs we played was a benefit for the tornado, and then we've been here ever since. So. I just got word that um, this song is about to be finalized and I'll be able to share it with you all. Um, it goes like this. They said that it would come And the heavens opened up And the sky began to cry All the rain Saw it all from Tennessee Wishing you were here with me Wishing I was wrapped up in your arms again I keep listening to your song It helps me to carry on In a world I seem to be floating above You're a myth from me but it's quite the poet's dream to feel such longing feel so tortured no such love won't you keep me on your mind as we wander through this time marking off the days with X's and O's I will do the same you know I ain't that far behind as you go, won't you keep me on your mind? I can only dream of all the places you have seen Or to fly on the wings of a song We'll spin our tail and run, putting love in every line. And we'll be singing here together before long. Won't you keep me on your mind as we wander through this time, marking off the days with X's and O's? I will do the same, you know, I ain't that far. As you go, won't you keep me on your mind? All right. 
it's too hard to think on all the days that come in between when the next time I'll hold your hand in one day you'll greet the dawn I'll be red and red along But while you're gone Won't you keep me on your mind Won't you keep me on your mind As we wander through this time Marking off the days with X's and O's I will do the same, you know, babe far behind as you go won't you keep me on your mind I will do the same you know I ain't that far behind as you go won't you keep me on your mind all right thank you guys I just saw that my friend Lindsay Parker is on here. Hi, Lindsay. Probably listening from somewhere outside of Waco, Texas. And um, I was going to see if I could find this. Uh, I might not be able to. Oh, uh, no. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a really, this is like a baby new song. Thank you, New England. Um, college virtual listening room music series for having me. This was really fun to play and I think I've only played this song once in my live and I wanted to um, uh, show you guys something. Uh, we have this new friend named Darren Davis. He lives in Canada and he is a songwriter and he is, also teaches a typewriter literacy program at the library that he works at in Canada. And so he sent Mary and me two typewriters. Um, you can see one of them behind me it's an old Smith Corona it's hardcore it's great and um, I saw this documentary called California typewriter I don't know if you guys have seen it totally recommend it's about well it's about a lot of things so I'm just you should just watch it it's great of course Tom Hanks who is a typewriter enthusiast is also in the documentary um, but I had this feeling like oh, like I really I really want a typewriter like really bad and then Darren like basically fell out of the sky and into our lives. And I had a couple songs. I'll play another one for you later on um, tonight as well. But I had this, um, this song that I started writing as I was reflecting on um, a few, few things in my life. I guess since moving to Tennessee, like any Texan, I became a little homesick for Texas. And I started thinking about Terlingua, where I go every year. Um, normally over the holidays and I've been going there I guess maybe five years it might be four but anyway it's been going there for a handful of years and every day on New Year's Day Butch Hancock hosts this Towns Van Zant tribute at this restaurant slash bar called the Starlight Theater it's a total blast and I guess I was just sitting around in Tennessee thinking about Texas and then I started thinking about this little hole-in-the-wall place that has incredible food outside of Fredericksburg called the Hilltop Cafe. And you never know who's going to be playing music there. It's owned by a, by a blues singer, blues player named Johnny Nicholas, who is kind of like the Forrest Gump of uh, the music business in a way. Like, his history is incredible. And, you, you know, you could be in there and Jimmy Vaughn will, be, will get up and play. Or Flacco Jimenez will be playing. Or Bonnie Raitt will walk in. I mean, it's just an insane place. And they've got great food and a great staff and I spent a lot of time there um, going to this gospel brunch that they had and just eating there and <laughs> having a good time um, so all of that kind of made its way into this song but I uh, during the editing process I, I got kind of stuck and so I sat down with that typewriter and finished it so this is like a baby new song Have you ever seen the sunset twice in the same day from a porch in an old ghost town south in the Lone Star State? Have you ever heard coyotes howling for the moon while a cowboy crashed?
call that an Emmy Lou ending. <laughs> it's the first time I have attempted one of those in a song. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, if you have any requests, be sure to drop them in the comments. And if you're just getting here and you have no idea what's going on, um, my name is Jamie Harris. Uh, I am broadcasting from my den in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm here as part of the New England College Virtual um, Listening Room Music Series. Thanks to Jeff Weber for having me. You got it, Michelle. Thank you. The only reason I am here is cause to us all he made it clear. He lied for me to sit here at your table. A forever guest you poured the wine got to me sweet time when you finally found me fit and able well, if he were here he'd pour my drink set it down before you even think to take a sip to cure his own thirst well to sit here with your smiles fake or stand outside with swallow well, I've not decided which is worse. So are you free? Or are you hiding from the things you don't? Skim the text and find the lines that feed your purpose. It's so easy to love your brother on the surface. Well, I know can change they'll turn their backs curse your name for situation seeming predetermined and if your footing can't be found they'll shout at you to turn around meaning well but clearly lacking understanding well it's true it wasn't long ago I traveled down a crooked road that ended in explosions, consequences. Well, I fought the battle with the sword, but won the battle with the Lord. A power that believes in second chances. So are you free?
is cause the spirit made it clear that love is not reserved just for our own kind well it travels over many shores through rivers canyons prison doors and i believe it travels Thank you guys. So I'm getting some requests for Sam's, which I'm happy to play, but it reminded me, you guys, I normally I would never do this, but this is like a benefit of being at home instead of being on a stage. I have to show you something. Um, okay. This. So last night we had an outdoor socially distant um, dinner with our friend Elaine Wood. Elaine is a total awesome badass. She was a phys ed teacher in Nashville for a while. Then she moved to New York. She's a visual artist, and she ended up being the PR person at, um, I keep wanting to say House of Rock because I confuse um, Hard Rock Cafe. That's what it is. And then she moved to Nashville. Anyways, she, in 1996, hosted um, the Dead Ringer Band, which is, I guess, the original name of the band that Casey Chambers was in, who is another one of my heroes. And check this out. Okay. I know this is crazy, but um, I just think this is so cool. So this is a letter to Elaine Wood from John Lomax III, obviously a relative of Alan Lomax. Okay, check this out. Hi, Elaine. Greetings of the season from across town. Excuse me for being so terribly tardy in writing to you to thank you for your support and hospitality on behalf of Dead Ringer Band recently. You really made them feel at home and they have raved about you ever since. They can't wait for you to go down under, they're from Australia, so they can show you some of their southern hospitality. I'm sure BMI has serviced you with pics, but I had an extra one of this shot made and I'm sending it. One can't have too many good pics of oneself with a budding superstar band, now can one? Lastly, I've enclosed a memento of my own nefarious past. My late brother and I put this together almost 20 years ago, so it's a hard item to find now. We tried to show how some writers can be poetic as well as musical, and we tried to present a little more insight into this writer than most songbooks reveal. He's flawed, alas, but one of the greats, and so are you. Thanks so much again for being so sweet to the Chambers family. They are really wonderful people. I knew you would sense that immediately birds of a feather hope you have a great christmas and that 1997 will be your best year yet warmest hugs john lomax the third so this letter was sent on december 23rd 1996 this is the book it is a book that came out in 1997 it's a towns van zandt songbook if you know anything about Towns Van Zandt, you know that Towns Van Zandt died seven days later after this letter was sent. And Towns could write uh, sheet music. So this is cool, but so it has all these great songs, obviously, with sheet music, an incredible, um, it's in, just an incredible book. Um, and Towns has all of these incredible notes about each and every song he talks about dreaming if i needed you at guy clark's house um i love this what he says about lungs the darkness of disease and the fire of frustration this song should be screamed not sung i mean his comments on here are just absolutely incredible so i bring this up because um just for other fellow fans of dark dark songs and uh and my friend peter case always tells the story about Anytime two minor songs are played in a row that Towns Van Zandt didn't care, he would play a whole a whole night of minor songs. So here we go. Anyways, I hope you guys found that interesting. It just blew my mind. She gave me this book, you know, last night with this letter. I was like, did you know Towns died seven days after this letter was sent? Anyways, blew my mind. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's 
good to see you, oh my friend. I've been hiding out again. I had this feeling you would understand. Spending too much time alone, and for a moment I'll start feeling good again. Go on down to sand. Is that how we met? Sam don't run the place no more. They got a rock star who's living in the back. You and I, I guess that we don't think too much on that. We just talk out by the fire And every once in a while I'll light a cigarette Even though I know you hate it Just like our friend that died Or is he really gone? Word in the wind I think I'm spinning out again Is that how we met? Pretty soon you'll head north and So will I, we'll say goodbye And then return when the leaves Have changed their color Tell the stories of our loves out on the road that fell apart. If we had better sense, we would just join our hearts. Have we ever? I don't remember. Can't forget. Is that how we? Back when the place was still a biker bar, I'd come up late and put them down, cause not a soul I ever knew was hanging round. No one cared if I drove off into the night to greet the flashing lights. They tied me up, put me back inside. Is that how we met? Well, it seems it's finally happened Like I knew it would in good time My friend, I know I've finally lost my mind Spending too much time alone and For a moment, I'll start feeling good again Go on down the sand All right, y'all, thank you for the request. I was going to do something else. I'm going to do this. I am. Um, this month, if you don't know, is.
think if you're on my newsletter, um, which if you're not, you can go to jamieharris.com slash subscribe. Hey, Kate Howard, what's up? Kate Howard and I, we have, I have hung out with you at Sam's. I know I have. Um, if you're not in my newsletter, you can go to uh, jamieharris.com slash subscribe and get on there and... Uh, September is like national so many things I care about month and one of those things is national recovery month and uh, I've got a shirt on my website that says listen to folk listen to punk listen to hip-hop listen to women it's designed by Paige Renee Berry who is a songwriter and graphic artist that lives in Austin Texas all of the merch on my website is actually designed by musicians um, so but a portion of the proceeds from those shirts, we've got I've got one that's a unisex shirt and one that's a really comfy racer back, and they um, they benefit the Sims Foundation, which is an organization in Austin that helps music professionals. So not just musicians, but roadies, sound people, uh, booking agents, anyone in the music industry. It helps them to gain access to affordable mental health care and substance use recovery services. And as you may have seen. Right now, people are really, really, really struggling, and so those services are really needed at this time. You can go to the Sims Foundation or simsfoundation.org to find out more about them.
Yeah, check out those t-shirts or uh, just go to simsfoundation.org. Hi, Grandma. My Grandma Betty Harris is here now. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, this is another request. I'm happy to play it for you. I um, I wrestled with this song for a very long time, and uh, I think I finally got it right. Not that I had a lot to do with it. I think this, this song kind of came from... This song is definitely in... Uh, came with a mystery, but I, um, I think this is a song I've been trying to write for a really long time, and um, especially over the past, hi, other Betty, hi, Betty Epstein, um, this is a song I've been trying to write for a long time, and, um, and I was, I've always wondered how, how to do it, and you know, um, it's funny, I, I came to Woody Guthrie very late, um, because I went to a school where they did not teach this land is your land in school, and I really came to Woody's work because John Moreland, who is going to be a guest of my friend Bonnie in the virtual gallery on Thursday, you can go check out her website if you want to want to check that out. John Moreland, wonderful songwriter, Oklahoma songwriter, and he invited me to come to the Woody Guthrie Folk Festival with, um, not with him, but he was playing and he said, you know, a lot of people you like are playing this thing, you should come check it out. And I said, okay. Um, so that was really what got me interested in Woody Guthrie, and at the time I had just recently become uh, kind of friends with Jimmy Lafave, who has, you know, know, knew so much about Woody's work and his songs and his history and was very willing to connect me to other people that were interested in Woody Guthrie and kind of told me where to look and what to read, and um, he was very instrumental in me um, finding my way on walking Woody's road, as they say, um, but... I got really, really into the Woody, I mean, I'm still very into the Woody Guthrie thing, and um, in This Land is Your Land, you know, there are all these verses um, to it that some get sung, some don't for whatever reason, and everyone just sings it in the order they want, which is really cool. I love that whole folk process thing, but I, rem I remember I was doing a gig with a songwriter that I really love and respect, but he, he said this thing to me, he said, you know, there's this verse that I like to sing, because he asked me, he said, what verse do you want to sing? And I said, well... I love the steeple verse. He said, steeple verse? And I said, yeah, you know. In the shadow of the steeple, I saw my people by the relief office. I saw my people. They stood there hungry. So I stood there asking or wondering, depending on how you say it, was this land made for you and me? And he said, yeah, I always kind of thought he might have got that wrong, that verse wrong. And where I grew up, which I will not reveal, but where I grew up, there's a seminary on the right side of I-35 that casts a shadow, the steeple from the seminary casts a shadow on, um, over this bridge where there's a community of people living and they actually hold a church service there as well. And on the other side, there are two relief offices. So for me, I was like, that verse felt like, like when I heard that, first heard that verse, I was like, oh, this wasn't just like a children's song. Like I didn't understand until um, I really saw all of the verses to This Land is Your Land. And so, anyways, I think that little, that conversation with, with that songwriter and um, Woody, you know, it's amazing. I think as a songwriter, you can go to Woody Guthrie anytime you get stuck with this song. Go, well, what, what would he do? Or what did he do? Or how did he, how would his brain click into this idea? So, anyways, this is a, a relatively new song. It's called Boomerang Town. She's 
said she wanted to wait till May to graduate. She'd be the first in her family, so let's stay to the end. Thought she could get a scholarship to college, become a nurse, travel. Back seat when we saw those double mounts. As for me, the only dream I ever had is getting out of this. to the seminary She serves the truckers the troubadours the punks the college kids who trash their booths all stoned and drunk who always pay but never tip with daddy's money Heavy drinkers, quick to anger's fist to skin. They all live and die. That won't be us, I swear to her. I promise you. for me To her shift, she lets a smoke up on the bridge. Under the billboard, painted Jesus lives. Julie steps over the rail, thinks about salvation. The sun arrives and collides with the steeple. Cast a shade. Uh
let's go and start flying as for me Thank you so much. Well, I might go a little over, but I like to play two songs if I can, if that's all right with Jeff Weber, wherever he is out there somewhere. Um, just play two songs for him. Uh, I think my friend Tom Meany is, is on the stream, and um, my friend Tom does a beautiful cover of this song, which is such an honor. Um, thank you, Phil Collins. Oh, Michelle, I don't remember what song I played before. Was it Snow White Knuckles, maybe? Tom is here. And Tom was has been off of Facebook for six months. And now he's back. And I'm so glad he's back because <laughs> I really need his commentary um, during the season that we're in right now. And also, I love his beautiful voice, his music. And I just love seeing him out there in the world. So um, I will play this for him. Uh, this song has not yet been recorded, but... I'm sorry, it has been recorded. It has not yet been released. Um, I did just launch a Patreon, which if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a platform where you can, it's kind of like a fan club. You sign up for monthly membership to support a lot of your favorite musicians, like our friend Betty Sue, who I'm sure you guys are with. She's on Patreon. Heather May, Rebecca Loby, Grace Pettis, a lot of great artists are on Patreon making great stuff. And um, you can join my Patreon for as low as $3 a month, and it gives you access to some kind of journal entries and unreleased songs. I've got one song there right now on the surface, which includes Eliza Gilkison on background vocals, and um, this will be on Patreon sooner than later. But I highly suggest you check out Tom Meany's version if you can. Until then... Tonight the moon is colored black Oh, the smoker's teeth I know it sounds crazy But it almost seems in reach Kinda like you Drive on that and never reach that place. Even if I did, they wouldn't ask me to stay. Kind of like you. Kind of And a promise left unkept They warn me of the danger So I never told you exactly how I felt Tonight the stars are sparkling or the 
desert while she sleeps. He has stayed awake to watch them shine till morning creeps. Kind of like he Didn't fight all on my own But you leave it, it still haunts me Like the ghost of a lover left unknown They keep quiet as the morning breaks the cold. I won't think about it as I travel down this road. Kind of like Thank you guys for listening. I'm sorry, Jeff, for going over. I'm going to go over one song because I can't leave this. Uh, I can't. I, I'm just not emotionally ready to leave. Yep. So I guess that's maybe it's better that we're doing it online. So I'm not taking over your college. No, but I'm just kidding. Sort of. Um, thank you guys, everyone, for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Once again, um, I'm going to give you that email address one more time. I'm going to pop it in the comments here. Um, jweber at nec.edu. Be sure to sign up for their list and find out what's going on. Um, I'm sure they're going to have a great, 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 great lineup of folks because they bring in a lot of songwriters I really love and I think I have good taste. So <laughs> when it comes to songs, at least when it comes to songs and songwriters, I think that's one area in my life where I do pretty okay. So, um, but thank you. And like I said, um, Jeff Weber, you probably might have realize that there is a Graham Weber connection there. Um, that last song I played, like you, I, you know, I recorded it recently with Mark Hallman at the Congress House studio in Austin. And because we were in Austin, I was lucky enough to have, um, uh, Sammy Powell, also known as Sammy P on the keys, play gorgeous piano on that song. And Sam and Graham and I, are members of a band called Western Youth, which is a really fun rock and roll band, but Graham and I are both, you know, big towns, you know, Bob Dylan, Tom Petty. We're just, we like singer songwritery stuff too. So it's really fun to rock and roll, but um, Graham and I uh, love, absolutely love writing together. And I spent three years like banging my head up against the wall with this song. And I finally said at the beginning of the pandemic, like, Graham Weber, like it was just like a light bulb got screwed in. I was like, Graham Weber would be the perfect person to help me finish the song. And of course he was. And um, I'll leave you with this. Thank you everyone for tipping. Um, that really helps me a lot get by in this time. Phil, thank you for, for becoming a patron on the Patreon page. That makes a massive difference. I am about to start the process of making a new record. And so all of this helps and it just helps my soul to sing for you guys. So I'll leave you with this. 
and then I'll leave you alone and <laughs> um, I'm pretty easy to find so come check me out and tomorrow Mary and I Mary goes I'm pointing like you can see her but we do a show every Sunday on Mary's page called Sundays with Mary and tomorrow our guest is James McMurtry and I'm freaking out I'm so excited so join us at two o'clock if you're into one of the greatest songwriters that's ever lived just that if you're not doing anything come listen to that um, and keep an eye out for that schedule it's pretty fun so I think I said everything probably too much probably had coffee too late thank you guys Love is gonna come again Maybe when you're not quite looking Maybe tonight, my friend Maybe when you're driving, love will call And you will fall into a place You never thought you could fit in Love is gonna come again No, you don't believe me yet Stuck inside your head Wondering what you could have said In that bed Love will find you And remind you of the things You thought you'd give up feeling Love is gonna come again I know it hurts goes through your empty home no way of knowing if you'll have anything close to what you had then love is gonna come Joy will find its way to you Maybe it'll come with the morning dew Right where those flowers grew Butterflies flew And on their wings They always bring a kind of peace To ease your grieving Love is gonna come Thank you guys keep your hoping machines going keep them running if you're not registered to vote go to register to vote.org make sure you are registered to vote if you want to get involved writing to unregistered voters or voters in North Carolina and Michigan that have been purged from the polls find me I'm easy to get in touch with I also have you can stop by the sh 
the merch table online. And um, I would just love to hear from you. So hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you again, Jeff Weber, and to everyone at the New England College um, at the Listening Room Music Series for making this happen. And I really hope that you guys reach out to Jeff Weber and get on the list so that you don't miss any amazing shows that they've got lined up. Um, hope you guys stay safe out there. It really means a lot to me that you spent a Saturday evening with me. Um, yeah, love you guys. Thank you. Let me just figure out how to get out of here. Get back, get back. And, and then uh, yeah, see you guys.